Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. You may be prior at the Tenkar's Tavern blog, Discord server, MeWe group, Facebook group, this uh, ta- blah, 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 twittering shit, 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 fuck. <sighs> I'm having mental issues today, apparently. <sighs> The problem with uh, my new meds is that I feel better. Not 100% better, but better enough that I want to be 100% better. And then, of course, you want to go the extra mile, and all of a sudden you realize, can you get stuff? So there's your update on that. So, I was thinking, now that the vast majority, 90% of Americans, are under some kind of shelter at home, uh, water. Isn't this the ideal time to I- introduce your family and friends, those that have resisted? Uh, isn't it time to become like the Borg and to assimilate the non gamers in your family? And I've been thinking about this, but it really, uh, on Facebook, uh, Zach Laser, I love Zach, platonically, do, don't worry, I'm just saying, um, so his mother is going to be playing in an online uh, session of Swords and Wizardry being run by Bill Webb. His mother has never played an RPG session. Now, Zach's been a gamer pretty much nearly his whole life. Um, he did Whisper and Venom, Death and Taxes, and then became a partner of Frog Eye Games. Zach is very... Very wired into the gaming community, the old school gaming community, and has been for ages. And his mother is not a gamer. My parents aren't gamers. Fuck, my son at 26 is not a gamer. He's a video gamer. He's a computer gamer. But he's he's not a tabletop RPG gamer. But wouldn't this be a good time to, to introduce people to gaming? We're stuck at home, right? Isn't this a time to take your mother and say, or father, or both of them, in my case, and say, hey, you know what? Why don't we spend a couple of hours Monday night at the rate finishes with her work? And I'm running a session of D&D, because all, everybody knows what D&D is. And it'll be interesting. I might have to take the, myself up on this challenge when I'm feeling better, when I've got... The ability to keep a game running for three or four hours as opposed to crapping out after 10 minutes like I do in this podcast. Uh, but what are the logistics to that? I mean, I, I could do it. It's two family home. My parents are downstairs. Rachel and I are upstairs. I can get, get together a table of four, including myself, without much effort. But in the case of Zach and Zach's mother, She's going to not, not only have to learn a game, she's going to have to learn to interface with Discord and maybe, I, I, well, all right. It's Bill Webb. I don't think there's a, there's a virtual tabletop involved. It's probably just voice and theater of the mind, and that's fine. But if we're going to introduce people, we should lower that bar, right? Lower the bar to entry. But you do have a captive audience. You have an audience that... And I hate to say this, there's a lot of people that were working that are either working from home or they're furloughed, or even worse, the company that they work for has closed the doors permanently because of the coronavirus. And if you can bring some joy to people in that situation, if you can make them smile and find some sunshine in their day. Game might just be it. I'm not saying it's going to work for all. Not everybody's going to be open to the idea. But think about it. At no other time in your life will you have potential gamers, tabletop RPG gamers, such a large selection of them With free time, time to kill. So take that, stick it in your hat, 
and run with it. We can always use more gamers. We can always use more grognards. But no, seriously, we can always use people to grow the hobby. And their age doesn't matter. Whether you want to bring your 10-year-old daughter or your 75-year-old father into the hobby, more power to you. God bless. God bless. So here comes the part you people probably go, oh, fuck, not again. Wash your fucking hands, 20 seconds. Soap and water. Temperature doesn't matter. Scalding hot, freezing cold, probably not the best temperature to use for your own personal comfort, but 20 seconds. Wash your hands. Keep that social distance. Six feet. Okay. If you have a 10-foot pole, feel free to use it. It's even better. But six feet is what they expect you to keep. Between you and the person in front of you and behind you and to the side of you. Pain in the ass, I do understand. But here's the here's the little little secret. I'd like to keep you all around. I don't want to be losing listeners. I don't want to be losing their family. I don't want I want this community to grow. And by that, you will need to stay healthy. So if you are on a lockdown order, pretty much a shelter in place or whatever they're calling it, do so. Stay inside. I have been since I got out of the hospital. You know, I've got over three weeks where I haven't gone further than my backyard. And even that was painful. Remember. You can't game on a ventilator. So keep yourself off it. If you at all can. All right, folks. As always, be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. And I will talk with you all. Manana. Later, folks.